Welcome. This is the first segment in what might be multiple segments of a segment I'm going to try to do called uh, Brent's Anime Recommendation Corner. This is just my time to sit down with you and talk through an anime that I love. This is not a review. This is not an analysis. Um, but I think one of the things we lose as anime fans is um, that time of just sitting down and enthusing about an anime that you love and just talking about it as something that just really uh, inspires you and delights you and things like that. And that's what this is born out of. And I want to talk to you today about Yokohama Kaidashi Kiko, a.k.a. Quiet Country Cafe. This is an OVA from the 90s. Um, and I'm going to take a moment for this to, uh, to start working here. I'm just going to show little bits and pieces uh, this being YouTube, it's very easy for things to um, to have issues, and sure enough, I'm having issues. Um, but uh, hopefully, we'll we'll get something going here. Um, Quiet Country Cafe is an anime series set in a beautiful, um, collapsing human civilization. Humanity is slowly dying out, but this is not a post-apocalyptic series. It's not a tragic series. It is just set in a future in which there are fewer and fewer people being born. And so there's just less going on. There's just, there are fewer people around. And this is about living in this time of this sort of slow, um, uh, the, the autumn of humanity, I believe it's called in the manga. And um, it centers on this girl named Alpha, who is an android girl living alone at the cafe, uh, Cafe Alpha. Um, which predictably does not get a lot of people in it, but it is just about her kind of living her life, experiencing things. This other android girl shows up, um, but much of her time is just spent quietly hanging out uh, because she gets maybe one customer a week, but she, ha she has to open up the store and then, uh, or the cafe, and sit around waiting for somebody to come in, right? That, that's her job, uh, it's her duty. It's what she was uh, brought in to do. Um, that's what she does. And so it becomes one of the most slice of life, slice of life anime series I've ever seen. Not just in the sense of being about, so a lot of slice of life is about um, um, just about nothing, right? It is just sort of people's everyday existence. This is instead an anime series with a tone. It has a relaxing feel. Um, it, it recharges me every time I watch it. There is not just a, a beauty and a, uh, there's a grace to it. There's a, a quietness to it. There's just something about enjoying the moment. Um, Japanese anime often has this aspect of um, mono no oware, this, I, this, this, the, the sad fleetingness of a moment. Is that the sense that this moment will, will never uh, come back? Well, there's a bit of that in here. This is more about appreciating those moments. It's more about saying, let's slow down and enjoy those moments that we have. Um, and again, not in a tragic way, but just in a way that let's, let's, let's love the things around us that are beautiful and that are uh, worth spending time on. And so there's just a lot of this anime that's just about these little quiet moments. Um, there's this wonderful sequence where she gets this camera and goes around just trying to find something to take a, a picture of um, and just looking for different things. And it is literally this like 20 minutes of her just looking for something interesting and loving what she's seeing, but not finding like something that's quite framed just right. And I won't tell you how it ends. Um, but it's just this, again, this appreciation of what we have just by being alive. Um, there's a joy to this. There's a um, um, there's an appreciation of existence in this anime that I see is, is very rare. It, it lacks any and all cynicism, uh, which is just, again, very refreshing. And again, I'm not saying that every anime has to be like this or that every anime has to be um, um, you know, quiet, but there's, again, there's the kind of this re recharging aspect mm -hmm. to... Quiet Country Cafe that um, I find just really remarkable. Uh, there are a total of two OVAs. 
uh, each made a couple years from each other. They both look very similar. Um, based on a long-running manga that ended a few years ago. Um, um, and if you're interested in this, go back. The manga is very much in this tone. It's unfortunately never made it over to the West. The manga has not, nor has the anime, actually. It's only been fan-subbed. So if you're looking for it, you're going to have to you know, find it in various spots. Um, but I, I just, this is one of those anime that I will sit back and just watch and enjoy and relax and and makes me feel better every time I watch it. And not just in the sense of, you know, I feel like I've had a chance to relax. I feel like I'm a better person for having watched Quiet Country Cafe. I feel like it has centered me in a, a, a really real and present uh, way. Um, I believe the first OVA is only two episodes, and each one is, what, um, about half an hour long. So it's like an hour for the first OVA, and again, like half hour, two hours for the second OVA. So pretty uh, pretty short. Uh, the manga also is pretty short. I think it's only um, 80 or 90 issues. So that's maybe you know five or six volumes, something like that. Um, and uh, and it, did, it does come to a, um, a conclusion. Uh, you know, it, it does have a... Um, an intentional ending that it, that it does, you know, get to. Um, and that is Quiet Country Cafe. It is just one of those those things I stumbled, I stumbled across many years ago and I love and I think is is uh, just a really remarkable, uh, worthwhile thing. Uh, and it's one of the things I love about anime is that this is something I don't get out of Western media. It's not something I, I'll get out of Hollywood anytime soon, right? Um, because it is this little thing that can be a little thing. It can be um, quiet, recharging, post-apocalyptic. It's not, well, not post-apocalyptic, but you know. Um, Twilight of Mankind <laughs> in a slice of life. Way. Yeah, quiet, contemplative anime. It's just, it's lovely. So, um, yeah, that's, that's it. It's called, again, Quiet Country Cafe or Yokohama Kaidashi Kiko. Um, a diary of a Yokohama shopping trip, which is um, sort of a play on some stuff going on in the anime. So just FYI, something I really, I really enjoyed.